Alright folks, welcome back to Eggnog Land. We are in the mine shaft and we are doing Ooh, that's taking some durability down on my sword. That's okay. Anyway, um, so we are starting from a established point here. I like uh, we take a hard left from inside the mine shaft and we are facing the door of our hidey hole. So I think that's going to be our best bet to try and not get lost. I think uh, some kind of beacon may be in order. You don't see a lot of granite in these mine shaft areas, so maybe... I haven't seen this before. So I think we may do in the center of an intersection a granite beacon. Do I have granite on me? I don't have granite on me. That's unfortunate. Did I have granite in the hidey hole? I saw iron. I want to grab that first. But I think we do have plenty of iron. That is beautiful. I think I got granite in, uh, in gold. That's good. That's good. Powered rail is expensive. Nice. Nice. This trip has already paid for itself. X. Oh, really? Really? We're going to throw something up here so it doesn't spawn. All right. Check the hidey hole for some granite. Because I'm thinking, you know how you do the dirt towers, and I like to put a torch on the direction of home. Uh, if we do something like that here, I, I ain't got nothing but diorite. No, we don't have enough diorite. This is shenanigans, people. I'm just trying to be smart. Maybe wood. I'll just use some wood. But we'll just put a torch in the direction that... Uh, home is. Like this is a dead end. I don't remember spider webs giving that much damage to my sword. Maybe it's a patch update, I don't know. Here's the deal. If you can see that, like, I got a torch at the end and the hole, it's like that's that's not going anywhere. But like here, where is home? Clear this up too. Probably put these on the opposite side. be our really our first spot we can make good use of our beacon idea so I'm gonna slap a cobble will actually work just as well to be honest with you because it's gonna be pretty weird to have cobble in the middle of thing and then boom pointing towards home and then if we cut this way. Look at more gold. This is fantastic. So I've, I've changed my plan. Instead of exploring everything out and then going back for what I want, I think I'm just going to be systematic in clearing this out and going that way. Because after being after wandering lost in the dark. Lapis, just kind of light this up, push back the dark a little bit. Um, after getting lost in that last episode, I'm not all that interested in just going in circles. 
All right, I'll deal with that later. This is good. <laughs> Grab this though. So we're just gonna gotta be nice and systematic about it. Dig through. Clear as we go, and uh, see how that works. I don't know how many episodes we're gonna fool around with this. Kind of get what's good and uh, cut out of here. I may condense this into kind of like a highlight reel, almost. Just kind of. Keep going till I'm happy and then splice it on down so it could be a few hours of gameplay but uh, keep the episode in that 20 to 30 minute range just because uh, uh, it's crazy talk to go too much further and I hate it when there's like an opening like this so we'll do that uh, I'm gonna put my beacon in Claustrophobic. Cut up some more cobble. Alright, so we've gone not very far at all, but our system seems to be holding. In fact, the more I think about that, the better I like it. Just kind of clearing things up. Am I full already? Are you kidding me? I definitely don't need rotten flesh. That's shenanigans. All right, here's a neat trick. Instead of wasting durability on my pick, picking these up. Oop. There we go. Something got wiped out down there. You can actually pour it directly on there, and it will... There we go. Clear your... It'll, it'll lift them. It'll break the... What are those? Rail. It'll break the rail, and uh, you'll be in good shape. Just like you're wiping out lava. So... You gotta pour it directly on for the best results. If you didn't see that... Directly on the rail. Okay. So that's cool. Oh, there's another treasure chest. I like it. I like it. And you can see why I built another axe before coming down here, because we are going through all kinds of crazy stuff. I will absolutely take some of that. Uh, okay. Hey, see? Diamond. We don't have any room for diamonds. What is this? Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Spider eye. I don't need a spider eye. Okay, so we are going to cut those down. That's right, mine carts don't stack. That's kind of obnoxious. I wonder how far we go down here. Oh, not very. Okay. So it may already be time to run back. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, no, that didn't work. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're getting full as all get out. All right, andesite. We're going to get rid of the andesite. That solve all my problems? I think it did. I'm gonna gather these up. Got plenty of levels. This is good. Because I think a. Uh, I think an enchanting table is in our future.
don't know how soon in the future, but soon, very soon, especially if I can find, oh my goodness, no, no I'll solve some of that problem. Especially if I can find some books down here, because if we can run into a, it's not an actual library library, but sometimes you will find, how do you say, rooms full of books and bookcases. Those are handy. All right. I'm leaving that minecart. I don't like that. I don't want to leave the minecart. Gunpowder I don't need. There we go. So, uh... That is cool. I want to put my dead end torch a little lower, though. Boom. All right. Oh, that's fun. Should probably put another little beacon. remove all doubt. Unload some crapiola. Pop you in here. Pop you in there. Boom, boom. Don't need anything with a full stack. I'm going to move. I don't need bread. You guys don't stack. I don't want to carry that. I'm likely to find more lapis. Uh, don't yeah, free up a little bit more space. Cool, cool. Okay. It's enough to keep going anyway. We can always come back and unload again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was full. So I'd like to get to the point where I just don't need to worry about coal or iron yeah, as soon as possible because uh, I don't know if anyone's hit that point before but I know in uh, like my happy minecrafter world I've got so much coal I don't I'm never gonna use it all just never ever ever and uh, it's kind of nice same thing with iron. It's like I did an episode on iron golems and didn't think twice about it. I'm like, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make that. I did one on anvils and I just made blocks of iron with no problem. And it was a lake there. Cool. So it's, it's a nice feeling not having to watch your resources. That's all I'm saying. I'd like to get to that. This thing, you want to call this an intersection? I don't think I want to call it an intersection. I think that is going to be an intersection. I think I'm going to want to build a staircase or a staircase, a floor. Make it a little easier for me to figure out. that. Will mean intersection. Upper level there. We are definitely going to do a beacon here and home is back that way. Um, let's just keep going forward. Yeah, that's not part of the mine shaft. I am gonna light it up. Take a quick peek. And no immediate diamond sided. 
So I'll just carry on. Trade out axes. That's the beauty of the mine shaft too, is we're pretty self sufficient down here. I'm not gonna as long as I bring food. I'm not going to need to worry about having to run back up for supplies for tools. Between the wood that's available. Now let's cover that real quick. And uh, being able to find the iron. I can replace just about everything I run into down here. Or everything I need with what I run into down here. So that's definitely a plus. I'm gonna slap a torch up there just in case. All right, so uh, that way is clear. If we go up, let's see, we're gonna want to play with that a little bit. So here's an interesting conundrum. We've uh, very clearly got actually nothing. I thought we had entry to a second level from here, but it doesn't look like it. Let me. Uh, we do have a passage through this side, but while I was exploring, we got this whole mess over here, which I think is going to be a better access point. So I'm going to ignore that for the time being. Let me tower up real quick while I've got you guys. Get this wood. Okay, because a lot of times these, uh, these little shafts are good ways to get up to second levels. And uh, I don't think that's going on here. But uh, as you can see, we are trucking along just fine. Sticking mainly to this level here. And time to block you off. Because lava is not something you want to play with. Oh, come on. There we go. That was just sloppy of me. Okay, so now we're getting places. We are definitely getting places. And. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much to, uh, to tell you guys about here. It's just digging out a mine shaft. If I see anything else interesting, I will totally let you know. But I don't think I'm going to record all of my runnings through here. Fencing's good. I, I like finding fencing because I think crafting it is a pain in the butt. It's just not. It's not good. I don't like it. It's obnoxious. It takes forever. You got to get the sticks just right. Oh, come on now. You got to craft sticks. You never seem to craft enough sticks. It's just. It's not fun. So, all of the fencing that I can find down here, the better. Almost looked like a name tag there for a second. Alright, what, what's going on here? Let's uh, get my dirt out. Let's see if we can't tower up and figure out where we're going. that wood was surviving underneath the pool of lava 
Uh, it's not even a pool. It was a stream of lava. I don't know. That's just... That's just intense. Alright guys, we are back in the hidey hole. Just, uh, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Haven't seen too much. That's interesting. Just, uh, clawing away, digging through our whole, what you wanna call it, you know, this mineshaft thing. We're doing the mineshaft thing. It's working out pretty well, and, uh, we're getting a lot of good stuff. I want to save two of those for a new axe and then a sword and then maybe one of those for a pick and torches galore uh, but uh, yeah I'm gonna call it here and then we are gonna head out do one more episode down here I think is going to be the fun part. Not leaving myself a whole lot of room for for loot, but it's all right. We'll be okay. Get rid of that. Uh, we're going to need that. And that. Okay, okay. I think we're doing all right. Well, that's about all I've got for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will be back next time. Catch you later. This episode brought to you by Mojang, open broadcaster software, Windows Movie Maker, and by watchers like you.